Hi, my name is Jacqueline Kim, and today I'm going to be talking about staccato. Staccato is another articulation you do with your bow. Staccato on your music will look like a little dot, either above the note or below the note, depending on which way the stem is going. Staccato has to do with the length of your note. So staccato means short, but not fast. Sometimes when people see staccato, they want to play fast. You can see staccato on a half note, which is a two beat note. Um, but normally you'll see them on quarter notes or eighth notes. Because staccato means short, that means the length of your note is going to be shortened a little bit before you play the next note. So there's going to be a little break of sound and then you'll play the next note. I'll show you on my violin what it sounds like. I'll be playing four staccato A's. Now I'm going to show you what legato sounds like. Legato means smooth and connected, which is kind of the opposite of staccato. And then again, staccato. So you can hear that there's a little bit of a break before the next note. Last week's video was all about accents and how the accent sound comes from the beginning of the bow stroke. Staccato isn't exactly like that. It's more about the ending of the bow stroke. You want to make sure that you never cut off the sound in your staccato. What I mean is in accents, we talked about how you can have a ta, ta, ta accent or pa, pa. Staccato is similar, but sometimes people accidentally put a consonant at the end of the staccato. So they'll say tot or pop. And you want to make sure that you don't do that because the sound sounds smothered or cut off or choked and you want it to release and so that you can resonate and ring with your violin. When you do the top or pop and you end your sound with a consonant, this is what it sounds like. So you can see and you can hear that I'm grabbing the end of each of my notes with my bow. You want to try to avoid this. The way you avoid it is to naturally slow down your bow. I like to give the analogy when you're driving a car and you see a red light, you slow down to the white line and naturally stop rather than slamming on your brakes. Same with the bow. your violin can ring a lot more and it doesn't sound like your note is choked at the end. Another common way to do staccato is called upbow staccato. Usually you see the upbow staccato marked as um, two notes with dots on top and then a slur on top. And the way you do that is so it's two upbows in a row stop and then go again and then you could have more than two and you can speed it up and I'm just doing da, 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 without adding the consonant at the end of the note. Up bow staccato is a pretty cool party trick that you can do especially if you get it pretty fast. A lot of people think about hugging your thumb towards the stick we talked a little bit about that in the accent. So this little squeezing motion. And then some people think about releasing the sound. So whatever comes more naturally to you, you can think about digging into the string a little bit, or you can think about releasing the sound, whatever makes more sense to you and your body. And you can see that my hand is doing this little motion where I'm hugging this, the bow. When you're practicing up bow staccato, try to make sure that each note sounds the same amount of volume, the same amount of length you're using, and the same rhythm the whole time to make it very crisp and clear. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any more staccato questions, please feel free to comment them down below. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next Monday.